Manhattan is sort of ground zero for lonely people. Case in point, New Yorker Jeff Ragsdale. And waking up alone is hell. It's very sad. Or going to bed, you know, alone, constantly by yourself, eating alone. Also, there's nothing worse than being sick by yourself. You're lying in bed, watching the world go by and wondering, you know, how did I get so alone? Ragsdale didn't seek solitude. His girlfriend broke up with him. Desperate for human contact, he did the only logical thing. It's just no good anymore since you went away. He posted flyers all over Manhattan, inviting people to call. He signed them, Jeff, one lonely guy. You know, my guard was down. I was completely stripped. I'm basically posting this flyer that says I'm a loser, but I, I needed to talk to people. So I go, I'm just going to rip my skin off and I'm going to do it and let the cards fall. You saw my flyer or was it, how did it? On the internet. On, uh... Ragsdale expected a handful of calls. Yeah. What he got was a full-time job. Here's a call right now from Texas. Hello? and enough material for a book. Oh, Six months later, okay, he is cool. still I mean, manning okay. the phone. Okay, because I knew that for a while, it, you know, you were sad and that... How many responses did you get? I mean, I've had close to 70,000 now. Oh, come on. People from all over the world. I was from Vietnam. Well, and then I also became like a confession booth for some of these people, you know. I do like having contact with people and talking with people. And Marriage, relationship counselors, sex counselors. The response has convinced Ragsdale that despite the trends, I just to talk to you because you seem like you're really cool. Living alone is not a natural state of affairs. We've talked to a couple people who said, you know, God, thank goodness I live alone. You know, I can do whatever I want when I want to. People who really seem to thrive on it. I think that's a very small percentage of people and those people I would suggest are wired differently because it's it's completely against our instincts. So the debate rages. Was John Dunn right or wrong with his claim no man is an island? Island or no island, the waters all around us do seem to be shifting. <laughs>